This is Phil Bell from FreedomWorks on the Daily Mojo, your morning update. Let's talk about nice guys and nice girls. All the time, I hear about politicians and people will say things like, oh, he's such a nice guy. Oh, she's such a nice woman. And of course, that makes us think we should absolutely reelect these people. But let me ask you a question. Would they be such nice people if they sat on their porch while their dog went out and mauled random passersby? Of course not. You wouldn't consider somebody that let their dog go out and maul random people to be nice. In fact, you'd think of them as being reprobates. You'd say you should take them and put them in jail, and rightfully so. They aren't doing their job. Well, let me ask you about our politicians then. How long have we, and those of us as Republicans in particular, watched while many of our nice guy and nice girl politicians have sat on their porch while the dog of government has mauled random citizens? Whether we're talking about civil asset forfeiture, whether we're talking about a DOJ that is absolutely out of control in every way, or even just local taxing authorities who will steal, I'm sorry, tax as much money as they possibly can, but use very little of it to the benefit of the people who were taxed enough already. They're not very nice, and we shouldn't treat them that way. It is up to us as individuals, as voters, as Americans, to make sure that we are going out on a daily basis and not only making sure that we know what our politicians are up to, but making sure that they know we are watching. And they know that no matter how nice they might be in a two or three second moment where they shake our hand and say, it's so nice to see you again, Phil, that they understand what we really are electing them for is to do the job of managing the government effectively and limiting how much of a burden the government becomes to all of us. Once we do that, we will have the America that our founding fathers intended and that we believe we deserve. So the first thing to do is go to freedomworks.org and join our freedom teams. There, we will help you keep up with what your members of Congress are up to so that you know what to talk to them about. And the second thing is to stay engaged. No matter what, no matter how tough it gets, no matter how demoralizing it becomes, stay engaged and don't ever let them use that nice guy routine on you ever again. We'll see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a great day. Phil Bell's Morning Update is only on the Daily Mojo.com.